So this is our princess room for our daughters. I'm really excited to do this video and show you guys this room today. Um, it's a room that I've put together over the past few years, ever since my first daughter was born. I've slowly developed the princess room and as the girls have grown, uh, we've moved from cribs to toddler beds to now bunk beds. So the beds have changed, but a lot of the accessories and details of the room have been here since uh, the beginning of our daughter's lives. So it's kind of really neat to be able to use the same um, stuff and the same decor and kind of watch you know them grow with with their room. So I was just going to give you a run through of what we have here. We have two dressers, one for each daughter. Um, I have them labeled according to what's in them. So I have them categorized by shirts, pants, PJs, and then the top is um, hair ties, undershirts, underwear, socks, that sort of thing. Um, and of course we have the accessories on top. Each daughter has a princess frame on their dresser um, with a current picture of them. I got these from Hobby Lobby, I think, the frames. And then over here I have um, the other dresser, which is labeled similarly with um, you know, the shirts, the pants and shorts, PJs, socks and underwear. And then um, the princess picture on the top with little statues of their patron saints. Um, our patron saints are Saint Philomena and Our Lady Star of the Sea for, for our two daughters. So we have pictures and um, statues of them to remind us of the saints throughout the day and um, remind us to, to pray to them for their help. Um, over here we have the toy corner slash closet. Uh, this room doesn't have a closed closet, it just has this curtain or this, you know, um, closet rod and it actually works pretty well. It, I wasn't sure how it was going to look but it turned out it looks pretty good the way it is and it's kind of back in this corner so it's um, kind of a little, you know, corner of the room that kind of separates it. So I have all their clothes. I have um, all of Heather's on one side and all cells on the other. I put little arrows up there, um, mostly to remind my husband which which is which because he gets confused because they're very similar sizing. And I move the clothes from one girl to the other when, when the older one outgrows her clothes, they go right to the other side. So it's sort of hard to keep track of. So um, I put the arrows there so when he helps get them dressed on Sunday or you know for church or just whatever that he can has, have a visual. Um, that's kind of why I've labeled everything else too on the dressers. Um, it just makes it easier for me and for him. Up here we have our cowboy boots, cowgirl boots. We have um, Heather and Stella bins. These are their clothes that they wear. Um, it's like the off season clothes or the clothes that are a little too big for them. So like I put, when summer's over, I put all of Heather's summer clothes in that bin and take off the winter clothes and the same with Stella. I just switch them in and out for the seasons. And then we also have some things that we got for Heather that were too big. And so I just put them up there and save them, you know, for when she can grow into them. Uh, this bin is piggy banks, some um, books uh, for when they're a little older, like reading books, um, water bees and just some other odds and ends to just kind of keep them out of the way. Uh, underneath the girls clothes we have the little doll closet which I created. Um, I'm gonna do a separate little video on that but um, there, there's that. And then bunk beds and all the dolls. Of course we have the princess dolls, we have the American Girl dolls, we have porcelain dolls, just all the dolls. Um, and then a baby crib as well, which is actually from their grandma that she played with as a kid. So that's more of a sentimental thing that we, we inherited. So we have that as well. Um, these banners, the tangled banners behind the closet, I strung those up. They were originally from my daughter's fourth birthday. I did a tangled party for her. And so I made all these purple banners and sunbeam banners for the party and decided to keep them and use them as... Um, decorations for the room. So I just strung them up with um, thumbtacks and string and it turned out pretty well. It's kind of fun. They go all the way back up through the closet. So if you move the clothes aside, you can kind of see that they're, they're back there and it's kind of fun to just have something, you know, sort of fun behind 
behind the clothes, kind of like a secret little decor piece behind the closet dresses. Um, I also made these lanterns that you see on the ceiling. These were part of her party. I'll link that party in the description too. I have a post on that if you're interested in more, how I did all that. But I decided to save those as well because they, I, it was a lot of work. And so I just didn't want to get rid of them. And the girls love them every night. They say they're thankful for their lanterns. So when we say our night prayers, a lot of nights they'll say, I'm thankful for my lantern. So I'm glad I kept them because they really enjoy having them on the ceiling. Um, and then I also have these little princess... Uh, paper hanging things that I printed off for um, I think I got a freebie it was like a free printable from a blog I can't remember where but anyway I printed those off and used them for some of our other parties because um, we had a frozen party for my my three-year-old last year so I just decided to keep some of those too um, and I'll link that that post in the comments or the description too and you can see the the frozen party that we did um, over here we have pictures of our family and of course the, the Princess Belle. I got um, I think four of these princess pictures from Walmart and they're like little canvases and they're just sort of glittery and fun so I have that one there and then I have them along their bed um, as well as this really cool princess daughter of the king picture chosen and cherished from Hobby Lobby. I really love that. It just encompasses being a princess and being a princess of God. Um, but anyway, back to the pictures. We have, I got these gold frames frames from Walmart too, which I was really excited about. And uh, the pictures were taken by Cassandra Design, which she did pictures for us this summer. And I put a post about that that I reviewed her photography and also her graphic design work. She does graphic design customize that you can contact her through the website and get her to make you personalized, customized graphic stuff. So I'll link that in the description as well. Um, over here is another picture that she took that I really loved. It turned out really cute and just makes a nice little accent for our big toy shelf. So this is our major toy shelf that um, it was actually a piece of furniture that was like a desk office type of piece. It used to be brown and I painted it white. Um, it was left here from someone who used to live here um, a while ago. My brother-in-law lived with us for a while. This used to be his room before he moved out. So <laughs> this used to be his shelf they used for office supplies and now we use it as a toy shelf. It works really well for all these random totes. That otherwise I wouldn't really have a spot for um, so I this is just the majority of their toys um, I kind of have the bins organized by type of toy so like this bin has their wooden dollhouse stuff this bin has all the little people um, accessories um, the potato heads are up here here's some puzzles and sticker princess stuff we have our little Saints dolls that we've made. They're like wooden peg dolls. Um, down here we have a lot of little knickknacks. It's a lot of like little princess toys and um, kind of random stuff that doesn't have a, another spot. We have all of our magnets in here. And then the girls have their little slippers on the edges and we have like the little, little animals. We have like a big toy chest of animals too in the basement, but this room just has a small container of little animals that fit. Um, and up here I have my, my baby scrapbooks. I've done a baby scrapbook for each child. So um, I have a purple and a pink one. Um, and those are just their scrapbooks of their first year of their life. Up here we have a bin of books. This is called our Sunday books. It's all of our um, books, church books, Bibles, and little kids books for church and for Sunday we try to read to them a Sunday book um, Sunday afternoon is just about our faith and um, just to help them learn the faith more um, over here we have our we have more pictures this like I said I've already sort of gone over this but we have Saint Philomena and Our Lady Star of the Sea are the patron saints of our daughters so we have pictures of them and then this 
is a really cool, I really love this quote. She's more precious than rubies from Proverbs. This is a printable I got from Hope Ink Company. I'll um, give you that website too, link to that below if you would be interested in looking at, she has tons of different printables. Um, and again, these gold frames, like the smaller ones I have are all from Walmart and I was really excited about them because I'm trying to add more gold accents to our house so they fit perfectly. This is one of my favorite areas. It's the book area or book corner. Um, so we have our bookshelf, which used to be a black shelf that I painted white to match with the other shelf. And we have our little fairy house on top. I got this for my daughter's fifth birthday. It was a Craigslist find, so I couldn't actually find one to link to like on, on a website because it, I don't know, I couldn't find a fairy house that looked like this online. But um, I really love it. The girls really love it. And it's just a really fun to have a fairy house. And then we have all the books. Um, just three shelves of books. And then in these pink bins, I have just some random loose things that don't really go anywhere else. Um, I have like alphabet cards and little puzzles and some of their birthday cards because we kind of keep some of their birthday cards. Um, here's some ladybug magazines that we get in the mail. Just kind of random papers and stuff that don't really have a good spot for so I just kind of threw them all in here. Uh, we have flashcards, go fish, some um, threaded toys that have threads and, and strings you can like thread the wooden blocks um, little puff balls from dollar store just kind of random stuff but it stays nicely in those pink boxes and kind of stays out of the way so it looks nice from afar and then we have our little rug um, that I got from a garage sale little princess chair also from a garage sale and then the one window in the room has a double curtain uh, the curtain behind is, is kind of a darker like a bay or a beige type color and it's really ugly but it works well for kind of just a backdrop curtain and then I got these really pretty purple and gold um, see-through curtains to overlay the back one so I just I got two curtain rods from Walmart just like the tension rods and just kind of put them one on top of the other and then I have a curtain on each I'm really excited with how the curtains turned out. The purple ones are from Amazon and they were really cheap. I just got two panels and strung them up there. So I'll link that in the description as well. Over here we have their bunk bed, of course. We have princess on the top, princess on the bottom. Um, I got these fleece princess blankets from Amazon for Christmas a couple years ago for them. And then also uh, found some really cute princess style sheets to go with that and then we also have um princess pillowcases we have this one has like castle on it the other side is the three princesses that was all from amazon so i can i can link all those products in the description uh the pillows we've just acquired over the years from birthday gifts and um I don't even know like the, I think the purple one I've had since college so it's just like you know random things that I've put together um, and then we have coloring things on the wall that their aunt colored for them just little princess pictures this horse I this is really sentimental I bought this back in college at a gas station my sister and I both bought matching ones just for fun and I had this idea that someday I could use those for my daughter daughters or daughter so it's fun to have them now play with that and they really like the little pony and it was something I bought way before they were even even born. Um, and then under the bed we have storage. Um, I have all their dress-up clothes. I've got these big bins from Shopco. They were in the, um, what is that called, the um, college area, like for the, you know, the new college year, like the dorm area. So they had these huge bins and they were really cheap. They were like seven bucks or something. And they used to slide really easily on the carpet. So I just put little tags on them to identify what they are. So this is full dress of clothes. Um, as you can see, they're kind of spilling out. And then this one has magnet dolls and puzzles. Um, they click open really easily so the girls can open them. 
And this one just was a great way to kind of contain all these like heavy puzzles and floor puzzles and blocks and things that kind of just get everywhere. Um, but in here they kind of, they stay nicely contained and then if the girls get it out, we just put it all away at the end of the day. So I really like having those under the bed. It keeps everything really organized. And then over here we have the, the other corner of the room. We have the um, princess canopy that I found at a garage sale a while ago. And then a princess baby um, command center, I guess you'd call it, with a little crib and the, the swing and the little changing table or bath. Um, this is just kind of their, you know, the baby center. I have a little basket with bottles and baby brushes and all the doll stuff. And and this thing is like a little night light. So that's kind of cool. I think it's out of battery, but it usually spins when it has battery. Um, and here in the corner, this is under the stairs. So we have, this room's in the basement. So we have the, the stairs. So this little nook just kind of needed something. So I put their little princess tent in it and then inside they usually have pillows and blankets right now they have their their um pink fox pill or pink fox seat type of pillow things kind of i don't know exactly what you call it but anyway it was a gift and it fits nicely in there and kind of out of the way and they like to go in there and play um so it's kind of a fun little corner and then we have our little ribbon board for pictures that i created uh, I just had little clothespins and then thumbtacks and purple ribbon and just did like a crisscross with the thumbtacks. And I try to switch out these pictures every, um, you know, like six months or so. So put current ones up from the last year of just things we've done, fun things with family, that type of thing. It's just kind of fun to have a little picture corner. And then we have our, our door to the rest of the house um, with all their shoes. I really like having, I've had this shoe rack thing since college, I think, but, so it used to be in my room, but I moved it to their room and really like how perfectly it just works to keep all their shoes organized. Um, and they can even, it's easy enough that they're, they can just stick them in and stick and you know, take them out themselves. So I'll say, okay, it's time to go get your sandals and they can just run down here and pick them out and they know to put them back and, um, so we have, I have all of Stella's shoes on one side and all of Heather's shoes on the other. So I have the little tags up there to just make that kind of easier to, to navigate. Um, and then I think this is the last thing I didn't show you. It's another ribbon board also that I used to have in my room way back in the day. So I've saved that and it's perfect for, for princess style room with the colors. And then this is, um, so a few pictures on here, some little cards and tags from birthdays that I wanted to keep, and then um, all their hair bows. So the hair bows just clip right onto this. It's actually like a picture board, but it works really well for clipping on the hair bows. And so that, you know, it's been really nice to just, you just clip them off. Oops, I dropped it. Clip them off. And clip them back on. So if you have a ribbon board, you don't know what to do with it. It's a great way to uh, use use it to put all your daughter's um, hair clips on and keeps it all nice and tidy. So I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think. And uh, I will link all that stuff, all the products I've used, I can find in the comments and the, the description and um, go from there. So uh, thanks again for for watching and please like and subscribe below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you soon bye mm -hmm.